Check the freezer, make sure the fans know I was running. Um, it's at 11 degrees. Uh, these other cases above temp. I see some fans out, so I'm finna just clear the area where the fans are out. We go from there, check the airflow. Fan connection there. We got airflow above, plenty of airflow. I'm checking each door, make sure we got good airflow. Also, got the fan that running had a loose fan connection. So this case had a loose fan connection. That case had a loose fan connection. Should have some airflow. We got airflow. This case right here is constantly stay down, constantly. It keeps freezing up. I don't know how many folks have been on this case, but it constantly freezes over every time. All right, guys, these other set of cases, uh, they got good airflow across. This one, about eight degrees. And then this two door case right here, 30. So anyway, uh, I had seven circuits that they uh, called in. Um, uh, seven in total. So we got uh, two cools in the freezer, um, which they called in. Also, we got uh, three set of cases on this side and then uh, two on the same. Uh, so we're gonna uh, go up top and see what's going on. Have a bunch of extra 404. All right, guys, we are up on the rooftop. I had notified the managers and all that. Um, so like I said, I checked all my stuff down below. We got good airflow uh, straight across. Um, my main concern is going to be the rack. So. Um, let's check out the rack. Let's see if we got plenty of gas. Let's make sure all the compressors and all that's running. I hope so. I hope that's the case. Um, I hope we're not low on gas. Really not. I ain't been at this store in a while. I always hated this store because everything uh, was constantly icing up back and forth. Um, yeah, I hated this store. I'm not going to lie. So anyway, this is b Rack right here right mistaken i had help actually i've been here if y'all remember i had got a free on for my co-worker and apparently this rack had a leak on a discharge line let's pray that we got plenty of gas oh yeah we don't got no gas y'all I wonder why that's may be the reason why they got that pallet down there. We don't got enough gas. Damn, that's gonna suck. Now I gotta probably just leak checker now. All right, guys. Well, every compressor is running. Surprisingly. 
lift this crap up. What the hell? Also, guys, I feel like uh, uh, the tech who probably serves this store probably knew uh, they had a leak. Um, it always be that uh, case scenario. Sometimes I'd be like, why well, I just get and fix it during the week? But I can't complain. Uh, but like I said, last time I did help a coworker uh, bring some gas up here. He found a leak on the discharge line, so I'll see where it's at this time, if we have one somewhere. Dang, somebody jack this thing up. Man, you don't wanna stay up. I believe this right here is the VFD owner if I'm not mistaken I might be wrong um, but our dang uh, liquid side uh, pressure is super low uh, it's at 83 it should at least be like 183 or somewhere in that range I believe this is 407A no 407C I think I'm not sure what type of gas in here I forgot I gotta check Do a sight. Right, look at all this blood, man. Feel like I hear something. Might have to turn it off, let everything build up. Come back with my leak detector. I'm gonna let y'all know now. This is just nothing but vapor right here. It's supposed to be like pure damn liquid coming out. I was trying to find a dang uh, sight glass around here. I forgot. I don't know. If... Gotta have it somewhere. I just forgot. If I just bring my leak detector and start it up over there, then come off and shut down the rack. Also, we already don't got straighter caps in the uh... I'm just uh, visually inspecting everything too. Make sure I ain't seeing like no trace of oil. I pray it ain't in like no freezer, no case or anything. I'm just praying really hard. All right, guys, got my gauges in my leak detector. So guys, if we happen to find a leak somewhere and I have to charge up uh, the system, I'm gonna just charge it down inside the case because ain't no point of bringing this all the way up there. Ain't no point. So, work smart, not hard. All right guys, just gonna just switch them off. Pressure and all that build up. Let's 
sound like I hear something somewhere, but that might just be me. Anyway, guys, I'm going to look around to see if I can pick up anything. Already picking up a leak in here. Yeah, guys, at the rack, I wasn't picking up nothing at all. Uh, I turned off the rack, you know, a lot of pressure build up, not getting nothing, turned them on. Uh, we ain't had no fans on the compressors or nothing, so it's okay for me to leak check around. I wasn't still getting nothing. Look, I can get something here. Just picking up something crazy in here. Opus somewhere accessible and all that and that ain't too crazy. Oh my gosh, it's getting bad. Well, we do have some refrigeration lines above. Oh, but it's got some leaks somewhere it's gonna be pretty interesting rather just check each case individually but I start with this one and I get back with y'all All right, guys, so our leak got to be coming from this case right here. be hard uh, it's gonna be very hard I'm about to turn off that circuit right there must be leaking really bad thought I was getting something in here but I'm not gotta be a bad leak I don't got nothing in here, little zero. Zero. I know it's zero on these. Let me check this other circuit over here. Do a process of elimination, check the freezer and all that next. Zero PPM as I can see. PPM just on the B circuit. It gotta be a bad leak. I'm picking it up over here in the case all the way over there. Gotta be bad. It's also in B. As I can see, zero PPM.
All right, guys, most of these cases are zero PPM. All the other ones on the other side. Only thing we have to check is the freezer. Guys, I think the freezer was my biggest fear because, man, doing repairs in the freezer, man, you feel like you're in Antarctica or whatever. But anyway, I'm gonna check it right now. I should have brought my sweater. Long as, we, as long as we ain't picking up nothing in here, man, we are good. Usually in the freezer, you would pick up something automatically, but I'm not, so. All right, guys, so uh, B6, that's the circuit I need to turn off and locate the leak. These cases right here, because all the fans going, saw so all that Freon just circulating around. So, gonna have to try to pinpoint it. As you can see, it's getting real bad. It's coming from this case right here, though. Yeah, it's coming from there. In this case, I'm gonna just turn this circuit off for a little bit. <clears throat> Hopefully, this leak is accessible. Hopefully, probably turn this so. All right, guys, I can hear and smell like the freon, so it might be in this case right here. I hear something hissing. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do is move this product because I really do hear something in this area. Hopefully, I, like I said, it's something accessible, something easy. Um, at least I'm thinking to my knowledge. Here's some hissing. All right, I think the leak might be right here. It might be under this line right here. Might have rubbed this. Wonder which one. Oh, I see some oil. Uh, where you at? Where the freak you at? Damn. Damn. Alright guys, I found it, I found it, I found it, I found it. Yep, line had rub right here on this equalizing line. Alright guys, this is really right here. That heater. See if I can move this line. And blow that up. Share out with my lead detector. Alright guys, what I'm going to do now is uh, close this circuit off, uh, eliminate it uh, from the rack and other circuits, uh, start adding some gas um, so these other circuits can uh, come down to temperature. And by the time I open that up, we'll see where we at. Anyway guys, I wonder who uh, the tech who service store, I wonder if they know this with Freon here. I mean, I guess it's just for extra, just uh, due to the other reason. Uh, like I said, I came here before. I helped out a coworker where he found a leak on the discharge line. Um, so, yeah, he found that little leak on discharge line, and I found mine in the case. So we need to locate the circuit. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is number six right here. We need to go ahead and close it off. Hopefully I'm going to ordain defrost. We are closing the liquid line. Which comes back from the condenser after the heat is rejected. 
goes down the two decays, go through the expansion valve, feed the coal, etc. Something simple. I hope I got this turn closed. This could be tricky sometime. A lot of caps is uh, off at this store. A lot of caps. I'm glad they got that extra free on because I don't think, personally, I don't think I had like two drums. All right, there you go. Uh, now that faster leap right here. See what the hell I've been talking about? <laughs> Gotta love it. That's the wrong goddamn one. Gonna put that like that. I'm gonna close it down. Once the line is like nice and cold, I'm gonna close that suction and bleed off the rest of the pressure. And weld up that thing real quick. All right, guys, while that pump down, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get my torch. Um, I should know that the case, the circuit is pumped down once the fans uh, kick off uh, inside the case. Um, I should know, and based off the feel of the line, I really don't have to put my gauges on there. Um, close the suction, bleed off the rest of the pressure uh, down below me. And uh, yeah, so I think I'm just going to add some uh, gas, uh, take, use one of the hoses and start adding gas um, in a bit. I'll probably just have the Freon there until I close that uh, circuit completely off. Um, so yeah. All right guys, it should be like the quick and easy as well. As y'all can see, the fans are off in the case. I don't hear none at all. So that's telling me we don't have no liquid continuing to the suspension valve. Um, which will typically feed this coil, the loops will get cold, and the click sign will have the fans running and all, or whatever. But we ain't got no heat, uh, liquid feeding through, it ain't getting cold enough, so click signs are off. <clears throat> anyway, some easy peasy. guys i'm gonna fill up in this case right here i'm gonna start dumping drums in here um but i'm finna go up back up top and start to feed now make sure that's it set close and i'm gonna open this one up start adding gas and then uh just need to make a quick repair got this door open so it can air out and all that so yeah All right, I'm gonna close the suction. I'm just doing this to be on the safe side. I know most people like you don't have to do that. Now, it's just that one little line. I probably could have watered it up quick, but why not? And it looked like that uh, big suction line ate through that uh, uh, cat on the suction line. Let's go try to use access to that port down that way. Should be closed. Is she closed? Yeah, she closed. I think. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna bleed the rest of the pressure off and then start adding gas down there. Go get my torch. Wet it up real quick. Yep. Alright. It's going to open her up. So we got our torch. Um, finna water it up real quick. Um, wish I was able to move some of this product out. Let's 
Gonna probably be a pain putting this back. Alright guys, so this should be the quick and easiest weld. Should be the easiest and quickest. Start wearing the face mask too. Man, we not. Y'all should know what scent I get if y'all ever did this before with Freon. And that's burning together. It's not a good. Alright, guys, round two. So we got it, as y'all can see. Got a nice bead on her. All right, guys, we got it real quick and easy. Um, what I'm finna do, um, add one more drum in this case. Um, let these uh, cases air out for a little bit. Um, open it back up, uh, release check, and um, yeah, she's super long, guys, because this one ain't even came on yet. Just finished that drum, these kicked on. All right, guys, we got 50 pounds in the system for right uh, already. As soon as I put that in, the fans kept right on. Now we Got this bunch of our feet in liquid, but you can still hear it hissing and all that. It shouldn't be no noise. It should be quiet as a mouse. Typically, possibly starting for gas. If you hear something like that. All right, guys. So it's currently 5 a.m. So what I'm gonna do? Place the shredder cap back on, and I'm gonna open up the circuit. I am first certain. Uh, we got the leak repaired um so yeah let's open up this liquid line i don't know if this in defaults or not just gotta make sure it ain't and i gotta open up uh this bad boy here is open. Should be. <clears throat> yeah, well, B 
V6 just pulling out of uh, defrost. I think it's coming out of dri uh, drip. Or, yeah, I can't even think of the word right now. Alright, guys, we're still at 0%, of course. We're gonna, I'm probably feel it around like 20%, maybe, or 30 Sir, in that range. Uh, I know Walmarts and other stores don't like their uh, receivers tanks full. Um, say about 70, 80 percent, maybe 100. Uh, that's not ideal. Uh, I kind of get it, because what if you have like a slow leak somewhere and it just drain out all that gas that you just put in, you know? So just having a little amount um, it can be uh, less the cost. At least what I'm thinking. But yeah, it's going to be a little bit. So yeah, let's get to it. Alright guys, we got zero PPM now. We all got it on the floor. Check this case out. Need that close a little bit. <clears throat> Probably still got an extra uh, Freon lingering around. Alright guys, this is going to be pretty much it. One got no leaks. I ain't getting none at all. Y'all seen it with y'all two eyes. But it was maxing out. I don't got nothing now. Um, I got this piece of um, insulation, Armor Flex. I'm going to put it in between this pipe and all that. So it can prevent stuff from rubbing. Like right there. I saw already there, but I'm gonna add one too and add another one. I believe all the Freon collected mainly all the way down here because it got more product and all that, kind of uh, compared to that case. And then it was kind of like spraying towards that way, it seemed like. That's why we probably had like a little pickup in here. But I wouldn't be surprised. Oh. That straighter might be sure to cap. Yeah, we zero in there. Um, it's just all that freon lingering around and stuff. But I am gonna add a cap because um, it is missing. All right, guys. So added some armor flex uh, in between the lines to give everything a nice spacing, so nothing don't be rubbing on each other. That's pretty much it. My alarm keep going off. It's like early. It's like about to be six in the morning. But yeah, I'm gonna put this back and uh, focus on putting gas in the right. I'm kind of confused why this is at 85, but I guess that's the set point you're calling for it to be. So, kind of confusing. Oh, it should be higher than that. At least about 180 inch or something. Probably just getting time. Alright, guys, I think I went about over, which is about 35%. I'll probably just leave it as is. I'm glad I checked. I was going to add other drums. So I added, uh, shoot, I don't know how many drums. I added three. Which is 72, it's 404, 24 pounds uh, each. Uh, adding two right now. But everything is coming out of alarms too, so that's a good thing also. Alright guys, so I used 144 pounds in total, so six drums. 
I'm gonna go back up, uh, see where the level is at. Um, let everything come down to temp. It's probably gonna be a while for them to drop down. This thing came in at nine. It was like in the high teens, around like probably, probably uh, yesterday. And I got here about, I left about one in the morning, got here about two something. Um, reason why I got here so late, cause I wasn't sure if the call was gonna cancel. I was supposed to go to another store, which was about like 12 p.m. yesterday. Um, call cancel, another one came in for the same store, it canceled. And another one came in, emergency, two hours. Um, I get about like an hour there and they counsel it on me. So I turn all the way back around and I'm like, what the freak? So that's why I had to wait this one out. But yeah, guys, I could have been here probably way earlier, but I was uh, waiting it out, making sure that the call went counts on me because I would hate to get on the road and happen to turn back around. I mean, Walmart's always come on a weekend. I barely, well, I'm, I'll be doing them here and there, but not like that. Um, like during the week, but during the weekend, it's always some Walmart calls. Um, but I know uh, the two guys that we uh, have at our company, they mainly do it at Walmart's, like compressor change outs and all little uh, uh, small calls like that. And then we um, do these other stores and help out in between. But anyway, I'm gonna give it uh, some time for the check the receiver level right now as we speak. I'm be honest, I think I put way too much gas in there. Um, <laughs> it's about 60 something percent. Um, damn. I mean, I added 144, that might be overbearing, but uh, it'd probably be fine. Probably been fine with just five drums or maybe 100 pounds, maybe. But it sucks though when you have to like uh, walk all the way downstairs and then you have to go back. So, um, let's see where these other uh, receiver tank levels at. That one about 40%. That one about 40%. So that was 40%. So it ain't gonna make, I mean, 20% difference ain't gonna hurt. Um, quite too much, but hey. Better than nothing, I'll tell you that. At least we got it filled up. That's all I'm happy about. As long as we got the problem solved, that's all I'm happy. I'm happy. Uh, the alarm should be cleared on that controller. Um, I'll probably just make sure they clear by themselves and then manually uh, clear um, to see if anything will pop up. Um, but that's pretty much it. I'll probably go down and check that uh, freezer temp. But they probably got that door open because they are starting to open up yeah, workers and all that is coming in um, Yeah, I got about 60% Quite too much But uh, Yeah Hey, I know uh, how I was concerned about, I guess, that 85, uh, I believe, PSI reading on the controller. The other rack over there is like that, too. I guess they just how, that's just how they have it set up. i never known it to be like that, but I guess so. 
Hey guys, all the alarms clear. I really didn't have to clear them manually myself, but everything is clear. Uh, we got one freezer coming out. So B6 was our issue. B, I think it was, no, it was B5. B9, the freezer. Probably just give, give everything time to settle out, but we don't got no alarms thus far. Hey guys, we're gonna give everything uh, time to settle out. Uh, I'm finna clean up my area, do some paperwork, and get out of here. Um, we got nice airflow in our cases and all that. Um, I mean, everywhere cold's uh, pretty much clear. Uh, we had a couple dead spots in the cases because uh, some uh, fans was uh, unloose, had a loose connection, so I had a. Uh, Reconnect it again. Um, right, we long free on. Um, I mean, case temps coming down now. Uh, got the leak. That was a pretty big leak. Um, reason why it is big because as soon as I get on the sales floor, I got a leak. <laughs> 500 ppm, 300. That's a lot. Then that's gonna be pretty much it. Uh, I'm probably go down and look at the freezer. I might uh, get some footage of it, but uh, CPC controls, these Emerson controls, they are very accurate. Um, it's uh, basically getting uh, uh, the temperature from the sensors down there and the cases, they uh, average out into one. So if I have three cases, I guess I divide it by the, the number. get my temperature if I'm saying that right um, but yeah I'll, probably, yeah I'll probably just go back down and give y'all one more look y'all seen one more and all that before but for the people who haven't yeah give y'all a look, look at the freezer um, yeah just give everything time to settle out like I said uh, this call came in yesterday around 9 it was a 4 hour response um, like I said I was kind of concerned I was thinking that it was gonna cancel. But most, of them, sometimes most of the Walmart's they would cancel the call quickly. Um, either uh, a few minutes after they put it out, or a few minutes before the ETA uh, was supposed to be uh, met. But anyway, we got it. We had an actual issue here. So. Yeah, I made it this far. I hope y'all uh, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Uh, hit the video with some thumbs up. Um, also, I'm kind of concerned about this rack too. Got a lot of uh, flood back. Um, I swear, most Walmarts that I've seen in my experience and all that, steady having bad flood back. I mean, it could be millions, millions of reasons. Um, a lot of reasons it could be. But that's the only that's store I really see flood back. Uh, the other grocery stores, I hardly see flood back. If I see it, it's like here and there. It's like small amount, kind of too uh, crazy. Um, but Walmart's, um, it's a flood back store. I'll tell you that. That's inaccurate. I know it's probably about zero. All right, guys. So that's going to be pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna let all the case uh, tips and all that uh, settle out. Uh, the big freezer went into defrost. 
Um, so everything's starting to go in defrost and all that now. I was going to see if everything in refrigeration, see uh, where uh, the Freon level uh, will uh, level out to. Um, but I would give give it some time. Um, I'm probably going to be here for a little bit. So I'll probably just do this paperwork, go back up, uh, recheck everything. Um, and I think that's uh, pretty much it. If y'all made it this far, I hope y'all uh, consider subscribing. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good night. Um, so been here since two, it's going on six. Uh, so had to find a lead, found it. Uh, glad it was somewhere accessible. Um, I wonder if I made, I uh, wonder if I had got another store. Um, I think I did make a video where, um, another tech was on call and I guess he went to the store and it was long free on. So the only thing he did was just added gas and, um, he didn't leak check at all or nothing. Um, so everything was on me. Cause I had to go back and um, recheck or yeah, uh, leak check. And I found it in the simplest place and it was on the suspension valve inside uh, the uh, uh, frozen food doors case. So I guess somebody taking it apart and ain't really tighten it up. Um, but anyway, that's where I found the leak at. And um, yeah, the other tech, I mean, kind of got chewed out about it. But I mean, he didn't really. I don't know. I guess care. But he he's a he's a pretty good tech and stuff. But uh, uh, most techs I've been around, they want to be like one and done, or or uh, all that little stuff. So sometimes stuff fall on the young guys like us. Sometimes, I'm not saying it happened all the time, but most times things will fall on us, and then we have to carry the torch. And um, that's a challenge, and I like it and all that. Um. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what I want to get off the top of my head. Um, that is pretty much it. I'm about to write up this uh, paperwork and uh, see y'all. Good morning, good morning, good night, good night, uh, good afternoon, uh, whatever time y'all seeing this. Peace.